So we're going to practice sealanicity. We're going to practice in a way that suits you. You're going to bring to mind your own personal ethical conduct. So whether it's a Buddhist practice or Buddhist precepts or personal precepts that you've taken on, a, a way of practicing that suits you, we're going to bring that to mind. What we're not going to do is to worry about all the times that we didn't practice our ethical precepts. So instead of focusing on the one or two times we broke a precept or one or two times we did something bad, we're going to instead focus on all those times when we did good. And by doing that, we start to see the link between doing good and getting good results. And we can understand, ah, when I behave like that, I didn't have regret. I didn't have remorse. I had good qualities come up in my mind. And maybe today we'll even get some joy coming up based on those experiences. So the practice of Siyalinusati was praised by the Buddha, praised by the wise, and is something that straightens the mind and helps the mind incline towards positive, wholesome states. It helps deepen our practice of samadhi and leads deeper and deeper on the spiritual path. So this is what we'll do today for a period of about 20 minutes. And so I'll talk you into the practice, which is to a few minutes of relaxation. And then I'll introduce the contemplation of city. So please take a comfortable position, something that works for you and allow yourself to draw the mind inward. So start off by relaxing the body, closing the eyes. Give yourself a few moments to arrive in your meditative state. Letting go of all the busyness, all the activity of your day. Leaving it all behind in the past. Not worrying, not thinking or planning the future. Just leaving the past in the past and the future in the future. And instead, being here now, aware, but relaxed. And so just take a few minutes to relax the body. Allow your face to soften. Feeling jaw releasing. Allow your eyes to rest. Draw the relaxation down through the shoulders, softening down through the arms, letting go of all the muscles, tightness, 
allowing any tension, tightness to drain away with the fingertips. It's so good to relax. Now you come to the back of the body, releasing the neck, shoulders, softening all the muscles, the upper back, relaxing the spine. Drawing the relaxation down to the middle back, down the lower back, relaxing, releasing, softening. And coming to the chest. Feeling all the bones and muscles of the chest softening, even the lungs, even the heart, relax it. And then down into the abdomen, releasing any tension. Relaxing deep inside. Drawing the relaxation down to the hips. Softening down to the thighs. Letting go of any tightness in the knees. Releasing the calves and the shins. Relaxing down to the ankles. Feeling any tightness, any tension. Draining away to the toes. Now the entire body is relaxed and comfortable. You're at ease. Feels good. Keep on relaxing. Letting go. And you notice, you see, that when the body is relaxed, the mind naturally, all by itself, becomes calm and peaceful. You can enjoy this relaxed body. This calm, peaceful mind.
Now with this calm, peaceful mind, we can begin our practice of seal and city, recollecting our ethical conduct. You are a good person. You are you are, you are an ethical person, person of good moral conduct. Every day, in many ways, You practice ethically. You make good choices that protect yourself and protect others. How wonderful. How rare. Precious to have a mind inclined towards the wholesome. How wonderful it is. No right from wrong. How lucky you are to have this protection. How wonderful it is that you show care towards other living beings. You should allow yourself to feel good. To feel happy with yourself. Every day in so many ways you have behaved ethically. Made good choices. Protected yourself and others. How wonderful, how good. And as you recollect in this way, See if there's a kind of feeling associated with this goodness. A feeling that comes from being wholesome.
knowing that you've been good. Allow yourself to feel good. Allow yourself a little smile. Allow your heart to open to the wholesome. Allow joy to appear in your mind. And when we practice ethical conduct, it's only natural we should experience good results. Seeing these good results, brings non-regret, freedom from remorse. When I could have done bad, I did good. How wonderful. where I could have been unskillful. I was skillful. Great. My mind is inclined away from unwholesome state. towards what is wholesome. How rare, precious. Allow yourself to feel joyful, happy. Recollecting, celebrating your goodness.
mind is in line with the Dharma, is free from greed, free from hatred, free from delusion. This mind inclines towards goodness. This mind always brings good results. Allowing us to be balanced in a world that is unbalanced. Allowing us to feel good in a world of killing, stealing, sexual misconduct lies, stupefaction. And so as we come towards the end of this short session, just take a few moments to look back over the practice Were you able to see some goodness in yourself? To recognize your ethical conduct? And could you see the result of being good in your mind? Now, and ask yourself, is this a difficult practice? Is this an easy practice? And why? And could you feel a sense of joy? In your mind. And having done some good, we can dedicate the merit of our practice, thinking, may all beings be free from harm. May I harm no living being. May I find happiness in the wholesome. And may other living beings everywhere find happiness in what is good. In this way, may all living beings everywhere happy. May all living beings everywhere attain the highest happiness, Nibbana. And so now you can relax your awareness, coming back to the room, slowly opening your eyes and arising from the meditation. So this has been the practice of seal in the city. So as you may have determined, it's more of a discursive recollection. And it's something like with all the other anusities that you can do at the start of your practice. 
something you can do to inspire the mind, to bring joy into the mind. And then you might drop the meditation subject and focus on a more refined, less discursive practice. 